I'm going to start with this view because I think it's a good example of what a pepper flower looks like with all of its parts and what a pepper flower looks like with all the male parts and the flower petals removed. This is what a pepper flower looks like with its petals, its male parts, and its female parts. And this is what a pepper flower looks like with the petals and male parts removed. That one has already been fertilized, so it's starting to grow just a tiny bit. The male part of the flower is the stamen, which consists of a filament and anthers on the end of the filaments. The anthers are where the pollen is located. The female part of the flower is the pistil, which consists of the ovary, which will eventually turn into the pepper. The style, which is a long thin tube that extends from the ovary and the stigma which will receive the pollen. The stigma is slightly sticky. To cross two peppers, you need to start by removing the male parts from one flower on the plant that you want to receive the pollen. This flower has slightly started to open, but I usually try to find one that hasn't quite started to open yet. The key is to make sure those anthers are nice and smooth and not showing any pollen yet. Once the anthers are starting to show pollen, it's too late. I've seen anthers that have started to show pollen before the flower even opened, and I've also seen anthers that hadn't opened up yet even after the flower was open. As you can see, I'm removing the flower petals and the anthers. Now that I have some of those anthers removed, you can see that long, thin tube extending from the ovary that we talked about earlier. Once you have all the male parts and flower petals removed, it's time to tag and pollinate the plant. Sometimes I tag the plant before I pollinate it, and sometimes after. The tag that I'm using is a diagonal piece cut from a drinking straw. I learned that trick from Eric Knight, and if you want to check out his channel, I'll put a link to it down in the description. Next, I take a flower from the plant that I want to donate the pollen and I make sure that those anthers on that flower are showing pollen. Then I touch the stigma onto those anthers that have pollen until I know I've got some pollen on the stigma. Not every attempt will be successful so I like to make multiple attempts for every pepper cross that I'm trying to do. With some pepper varieties it seems like my success rate is pretty high and with some varieties, it seems like it's pretty low. So it's a good idea to make several attempts just to make sure you get that cross you're looking for. Both peppers that I'm showing in this video succeeded, but that's not always the case. Once you make a successful cross, the seeds that you save from that pepper will grow F1 hybrids. Then you save seeds from the F1s to grow the F2s, the next generation. And the F2 generation is where most of the magic happens. The F2 generation usually produces a large variety. Each pepper plant will be just a little bit different than its sibling. Well, that's the basics on how to do a manual pepper cross. Let us know if you decide to try it yourself and how it works for you. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.